this tutorial will help you learn the basics for the wall tool when using Globster EDU. To begin, select the wall option from the toolbar. You'll see it's turned gray. When you actually select wall, it'll turn white and the wall window will open. You have two options, the glog wall and the page wall. I'm going to tell you the basics for each one. The glog wall is the main background of your glog. In my case, I have kind of a paint splatter for the background. The page wall is the background along the sides of your glog. In my case, I have a blue color, a solid color, as my page wall. When you've selected the glog wall tab, you have three options. You can select a background from the gallery, from my pictures, or from a solid color. From the gallery, you have several options. You can see all the categories at once and use these arrows to click through to see the different background options. You also have the option to select a category. For example, if you're creating a blog about a pet, you could select the pet pet category and different options related pet will load. For example, I might choose to use grass. Once I find the one I want, it'll turn purple when selected. A preview will show and then I click use it to make the glog wall change. Then for my pet themed glog, I may want to change my page wall to match. So I simply click the page wall tab. On the page wall tab, I also have the gallery option, the my pictures option, and the solid colors option. In this case, rather than choosing a color uh, from the solid color screen, I'm going to actually go back to the gallery. And the gallery gives me many other pet related options. Click through and see what is available. I'm going to use this pattern, dog pattern, has some bones and some dogs. When I click use it, it'll show me what it'll look like along the sides on my page wall. Once I am satisfied with my options, there's no saving necessary in this stage. I simply close the wall window and I would suggest before moving on clicking save and publish to save your blog. It'll save the changes you just made to the page wall and the glog wall. And that's it. If you need help with any of the other Glogster EDU tools, be sure to check out the other Glogster tutorials on youtube.com.